If you smell what the rock is cooking, hey, it's Wrestling Hero Phase. We have the brand new WrestleMania Elite Series starting off with your boy over here, the rock, the people's champ. You guys want to pick these up? Hit the link in the description below. Discount code HERO is going to save you 10% on the eyebrow raisin. Tattoo blazing. All y'all need to know that this man is going to bring the heat right now against the Hulkamaniacs, you guys. Check out the full set. You collect all four of them. You get your mean Gene Oakland for the second go around. Now, these gentlemen, they already want to get cracked open. They're like, WHF. Are you going to get the figures out of the box? Well, of course, man. That's what we do here on the channel. But first, we need to check out what the Hulkamaniacs are going to bring, brother. After all, that's how we do it up, man, with the Hulkster right there with the NWO. Now, keep in mind, you guys, this is based off on a later Hulkster, a later Hollywood. But you know what? Still, without a doubt, a character for the ruthless aggression display. That's just going to play out real well, man. This is so cool. Very excited to get my hands on that. And same with this man right here. We got Dusty. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Full set coming in right here. The look you make when you got WHF bringing the WrestleMania heat. Man, that's what they're celebrating, right? They got Hollywood going on over there. And we also got the rest of the mean gene to be brought right here. So if you collect him, you get the torso. If you get the rock, you get the arms. And we're going to dissect it all, you guys. That's the cool thing about these figure unboxings is that not only do we get these figures out of the box, but we also have to build the build a figure right here within the video. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, macho man. We got a high, bright, high, colorful attire right there with the macho man. I know we've gotten a lot of macho mans, but I'll tell you what, this macho man, you kind of need them. I mean, if you don't plan on doing the whole Build-A-Figure set, you need the head scan to bring it together. Ain't that right, Dusty? That is all good and dandy. But now that we've gone through the boxes, I said we get these damn figures out of the box. Let's check them out. Here we have all four figures out of the box, and I do mean that because technically one of them is a builder figure, which he will be covered, but we got to check out the full set before we can get all to that good stuff, right? Hulkster, I want to check this man out because he brought the accessories. The man of accessories has brought it once again, except this go around is the same damn belt. Now, Mattel, this is a legitimate question. At what point in Hulkamaniac's Mattel figure history will we finally get the true update within the strap. And not that there's anything wrong with like the way that the word is labeled, but the actual strap of itself, you guys, if you go back to the earlier Jax days, they were doing the strap properly. Interchangeable hands, you're going to get full on open to go ahead and get the whole Hulkamaniac fam riled up, right? We're going to get close fists that are actually on the figure, and we're also going to get Mike open on the figure that we can do the promo right there before the big old WrestleMania match of a lifetime. Now, we have seen a very similar gear that I do want to pull up alongside. That way you guys can see what the Hulkamaniacs and the Hollywood Hulk Hogan's have brought right here so far within Mattel. First impression, I would say a lot of similarities. Not so much with the beard, because if you do look at the Ultimate Edition, you can see that this one has more of like a faded look, which I believe, you know what, same expression that we do have on it. And I gotta say, I do prefer the faded look. So some head swappies, not with necessarily this one, but with the other ones, would definitely make this figure just that much better. We gotta try it out, man. Turn on that note notification bell because we got some hot customs landing in sooner than later now as far as like the boa definitely different style this one they kind of had the white mixing in with the black on the newer one we have the whole separation just the way the mo the man wore it, right so we got the white mixed in with the black you can remove them fairly simple obviously if you guys picked up the last one which i believe was with uh yeah the red and yellow which is also based on ruthless aggression did have this look, except instead of the black and white, we got the orange and red. So yeah, pulling that to the side, check this out. Here's the scan right there with the whole beauty factor. Bandana, we got Hollywood coming across. We got the glasses and the shirt. It is parted halfway, so when you do interchange it with the uh, mic open hands, you'll be able to do the signature post right there of the Hollywood for the torso choice. I don't know, you guys. Look, I know a lot of people had a lot of issues with the actual look of the Ruthless Aggression, the red and yellow gear. But, I mean, at this point, you guys, when you have everything set up with the shirt and the actual pieces, 
I don't know. It really doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, if you are going to do full pose and get your figure all in figure action, it's definitely going to take away from the factor. But at the same time, you guys, at least we got the butterfly joints. Hair Flex, we don't got butterfly joints. No, but we got pinless elbows. Butterfly joints are only exclusive to the Ultimate Edition line. Biggest thing that I would say, though, you guys, as really with any Hulkster that we've seen so far lately, is when they do this torso choice, it definitely takes away from like the lower half so they still kept the same traditional lower half and you can see the circumference around the waistline how it just kind of looks overly proportioned but nonetheless you guys the actual design i'm telling you we got to do some serious fix ski up skis because i feel like this one could benefit not only from the torso but the head scan once we get that all changed man i would really love to see either an ultimate edition torso on this or something that we've seen in bigger scale to make up for the circumference of the waistline. Now the boots, you guys, you guys gotta check this out, man. Here's the Hulkster. Here's the Hulkamaniacs. And the reason why people put on the white boots right before winter, man, they wanna blend in with the snow and so does the Hulkster. So the fact that he did it right here, within the actual design of the boots i love it i love the blue flames the way that they're coming through not just on the outside of the actual skin of itself but on the inside you get the whole factor on the left as well as on the right on the back end you guys solid black you're gonna get that mainly hollywood coming through the back end once you do take this off you'll see that again same head scan there is no different the main difference that you will see will be the shading factor that they did bring with it but here is the man right there behind the glasses i don't know i'm telling you i feel like the one where he was screaming in the ultimate edition which is make this figure just that much better and again we got to try it out i do like the scale of the arms they are scaled up a little bit bigger the 24 inch pythons accordingly i got to give this figure a 9.5 you guys i'd be crazy to drop this in the low ranking like yeah the torso i get it the head scan yeah but at the same time these were the boots that I was waiting for and the whole electrifying factor that we did see with the UE. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen, you guys. Again, very similar situation from his earlier WCW days, but at the same time with its own entity. I'm telling you, bro, if you picked up several of these, really, the only thing you'd have to do is do the whole, like, boot swap on there and the head scan. Oh, man, we're going to do it. I'm telling you, it's going to happen, and once it does... This figure right here, he is going to stand pretty damn strong right there in the Ruthless Aggression shelf. Now, the Macho Man, he wants to check out what's all good. Now, one thing that is not all good with this figure is the damn entrance jacket, man. You look at this figure, you look at the packaging, I see a jacket, right? You see it on the figure, or you see it on the character, but you don't see it on the figure itself. Which, you know what? It's not a new thing. Macho Man always suffers from lack of entrance gear so i mean the fact that we got the freaking crown and the glasses i'm gonna go ahead and call that one up we've got interchanging options right there with the mic open and then you got the finger pointing to do the signature macho man pose right there brother look at that crown look at the glasses check out the purple because that's what the king's like to wear man i like purple i don't know what it is about purple but i feel like it's been a signature color not only for the kings but also who is it judgment day they love purple too so there's got to be something going on within the globe that we're not being told about right where's the secret man tell us macho man we can't tell you the secret whf because if i tell you i'd have to kill you <laughs> All right, let's pull that to the side because we've seen that in prior figure releases. Let's take off the glasses too. That way you guys can see the macho man, right? Otherwise, how the hell are you going to see macho, right? You can't be like, yo, is that macho man behind the mask? I don't know, bro. I mean, he kind of looks like it. But is he really the macho man at right there with the slim jammies and all that good stuff? Now, I do got a comparison. I'm going to bring something right here from the earlier days. And this is earlier. I mean, technically, this is not WCW. This is not later WWE Hero Fix. He never made it to WWE. But what I'm saying is that we got Macho Man right there bringing a better expression with the true FX. Obviously, as you guys know, all these new figures, they do get that little benefit extra touch right there with the look. And I feel like this one is just going to do one up right there within that. Now, I don't know if it's going to be better than the actual Ultimate Edition, but... At the same time, you got some playability interchanging options that you can do with it. The whole yellow factor, we got the straps coming through. There is no tooling or sculpting on the actual straps, which I believe at this point in our lives, it should be, right? I mean, we got a lot. I know Mattel has definitely done a lot of good upgrades throughout the years. But I do think that now, especially with this specific gear, 
would really benefit with the actual like texturing molding of the straps right that's just a thought man i feel like that's got to be happening here in the near future and we've seen it on different characters especially with the ultimate edition so i think at some point it's going to trickle down right there to the regular elite series i like the white boots i like the colorful gear man i'm telling you if you like the macho man if you like yellow this guy right here he's your man i gotta give him an eight six now the rock Let's bring this man up because he is the one that's going to bring the fight to the Hawkster right now. Interchanging options on the figure. We got close fist. We got mic open. So you can have the promo of a lifetime or you can do just bring it, right? Just bring it. Bring it. You got the flat out hand except the pinky on mine. I don't know what the hell happened, you guys, but I'll tell you what. QC has done better at some point right there in the WHF Figgy life. Here's the scan, and I got to say, huge upgrade right there within the scan. Keep in mind, during this time, this is the transition phase for The Rock, right? Because before, the man was all hair, and then later down the road, I mean, yeah, there was no hair. The guy was bald. So Ultimate Edition right there, comparison, you can see that the figures, they do stand accordingly, but ultimately, it is going to be the torso and choice. Like, if you look at the packaging, I'm going to show you something real quick, you guys. If you look at the figure on the box, I mean, by this time, the guy was pretty cut up. Like, early Attitude Era, I could see this torso working out. So, again, some minor complaints and ones that I'm not going to go out and pick apart. But, at the same time, this gear, at least the gold gear on the actual black trunks, we've seen it in a prior set. But it was with a different style of torso. So now the tattoo right there, you will get the Brahma Bowl. This was long before the whole transition of the left tattoo. So you're not going to get that on the actual chest piece. But the solid black boots, you'll get the matchy-matchy right there within the boots. I got to give this figure, I don't know, I feel pretty comfortable at an 8.5. Really nothing that stands out. The head scan looks great. I do like the choice. But at the same time, I feel like, what do you guys think? Dusty, you got to come in for the save hero fix? I've been here for the save. Interchanging hands. We got mic open. We got the finger pointing hand. And we also got some more close fist. So if you want to do some close fist action, if you want to do ground and pound and take out your opponent down to the nitty gritty, now you can do it right there with your boy Dusty. Now the elbow pad will get the same benefit as the whole polka dot thing that you'll see on the top trunks, lower trunks. And just bringing it all together. I think that's the best way that Dusty would want to have it, right? He'd want to bring Cody. He'd want to bring the old bro together and be like, you guys got to join WWE. And then they're like, no, nah, man. We're going to do some AEW. We're going to revolutionize the sport. And we're going to make you proud, Dad. Now, one thing that is making me proud, I'm going to tell you right now, is going to be the head skin. You look at one of his old or earlier elites. Yeah, I can definitely still see Dusty within this one. But I feel like the true effects and the streaming factor on this, he's like, ah, WHF, full set review. We got Halloween time. We got zombie time. Oh, no, he eats his damn brains out, and then you're left to hang in like, bro, you got to cover the Builder figure. Are you going to cover the Builder figure if you haven't covered the man right there, Dusty Rhodes? I feel pretty good right there at a 9-2 Dusty. If you guys haven't gotten one of the earlier elites, this wave right here will give you that beneficial factor because I feel like Hawkster, Macho Man, and The Rock – you could literally put those mans in every single series and people will be like, excuse me, are you not releasing too many Hulk Hogan's? Are you not releasing too many Macho Man's? You're asking too many damn questions. The only question you should be asking is, how does this build a figure measure up right there within the last one that we've seen? Now, here's the last one. This one right here was part of an exclusive set, part of a retail set, Walmart, I believe. This one, on the other hand, though, this has got his own look, right? This is earlier, late 90s. No, sorry, uh, late 80s, early 90s. This one right here, he's kind of like in the much later days, right? Once they all moved right there to the full-on Black Demon, that's really it. I mean, there's really not much. We've seen the Build-A-Figure frame on several countless different figures, but it's going to be the head scan that's going to bring this with it all, right? Now, you can interchange the hands. you got two options. You either got the mic open so you can do the promo, or you got the full-on open so you can push the big dudes across. It's like, no, nah, man, just because I'm a little dude doesn't mean get pushed around. And that's the thing I love about Minji, man. He took shit from nobody. He didn't let anybody tell him different, regardless of the man's stature. He pulled up, he threw his interview, and still was able to come out with a whole successful run within the WWE theme, right? Got the little hair coming through right there. There is not much going on in the back. I mean, after all, the later days, that's just what they do to you. But at the same time, I got to see this Build-A-Figure set. If you guys missed out on the very first Mean Gene, 
This is really going to be the only factor that's going to give you that, right? And I know you'd be like, bro, I don't need another macho man. I got too many macho mans. Well, you need that damn scan, right? Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of the series. I know Hawkster, he's pretty happy to find a spot right there within the Ultimate Edition lineup. And I'm saying that right now because it's already going to happen before you know it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. You sure will, damn bud boy.